Hi. So in the last class we discussed about the SCDs. In SCDs we have type 1, type 2 and type 3. In type 1 we are loading current information into the target. In type 2 we are loading historical data. In type 3 partial history. First I am creating a new mapping on type 1 SCD. So here I am taking DPT table, same target, DPT lookup, okay, create a new mapping here, mapping type 1 SCD, type 1 SCD. So drag and drop source and target first. Take a look upon target. Then drag and drop department number into here. Change the name. In underscore src. Same like lookup transmission we created, right? Here also we need to create same process. Go to condition, create a condition. Okay, here I'm changing the name. Then directly in the last class in the lookup. When we are creating the lookup, we took the filter transmission filter. We checked whether the lookup department number null or not. That is, we created for only for inserts. Here, we are inserting new records into the target. At the same time, we are updating existing records. So first, I'm creating an expression here. Okay, drag and drop the source columns into here. okay and from here i'm taking this department number and the required columns we can take department number and location okay change this column names in underscore lkp underscore these are the lookup columns and here in underscore lkp underscore location these are only inputs and here I'm creating two more columns to find out new record and update record this is output port output new record and output update record both are output so already we create a new record condition in lookup from lookup in filter transmission if of is null of lookup department number the same process to find out new records always true comma false okay and next update record update record we can find out whether department number of source equal to department and of lookup and location of source mismatch not equal to with location of lookup then only it is a update record if both locations are matching so we can consider that is same record the current record in the source, existing record in the target, each and every column value is same. Okay. If the department numbers are matching and location column is mismatched, means it contains some changes, some updates. So we have to update the updated location information into the target. So like this you can add other columns also. 
location or d name if you have any other column salary designation phone numbers email ids so we can add okay here i'm checking only one column so back it is there required okay so we created two conditions here one is for new record to identify new record if of is null of lookup department number true comma false one is update record department number of source equal to lookup department number and location of source not equal to with lookup location so then using expression we can create the condition but but we cannot decide whether the condition is true or false so filter or router only the two ways to identify record conditions or or false so here I'm taking one router from source you have to take this columns okay so here we need to create two conditions one is for new records one is for update record Here the new record condition is new record. No need to check again here whether the new record value is equal to true or false because always new record values, I mean new record column contain true or false value. Okay. And here ports update record. both are same because always in new record column update record column having only two values that is true or false if the new record condition value is true means the record is a new record it will insert into the record into the target update record value is true means the record already existed but it contains some changes so we are updating the values in the target Okay, instead of taking router, you can create the filters also, no problem. Okay, so for insert not required any update strategies, apparently we can pass the data. So same thing, so we have to copy paste the target. Okay, so from here. We need to create update strategy to update the target that is very very important so from here to target here in properties dd underscore update that is the keyword to update the records okay so I'm explaining again and adding first we created source and target and then we drag and drop the source and target into the mapping designer after that we created one lookup transmission on target table same like a normal lookup here also we drag and drop the source department number into lookup transmission in lookup transmission we created a condition department number of lookup equal to department number of source after that we created a expression transmission in that we took source columns and from lookup we are taking department number and location so using that lookup department number and location we are identifying new records and update records so that's why we created two columns here o underscore new record and o underscore update record to identify the new records the condition is if lookup department number value is null if lookup return value is null then we can treat the source record as a new record for update record if the source department number match with the lookup department number and source location is not equal to with lookup location means look location contains some changes so like that we can identify the update record
so after completion of expression we created a router from expression we are drag and drop the department number rename location from the source and newly created columns o underscore new record and o underscore update record into the router in router we created a two conditions mean two groups new record and update record the new record condition is new record column because new record column from expression we are taking this this column always contain true or false values so that's why we are not checking anything if the value if the column value is true nothing but it's a new record it will pass the record into the target if the update record value is true nothing but it's the update record we are updating using update strategy and target it okay so every time we are storing current information here so we i'm creating a new workflow Okay, source connections, bike to normal. Directly we can change the connection from here also. Apply attribute to all instance. All targets will change. And this is also required. Let's go. Workflow start work. It's running 7 out of 7 we got all our new records so we can check the data from here okay so I'm updating one record and I, I'll insert one more record into here 70 is the maximum there 80 account US location okay I'm updating one more record here UK I'm changing to USA from it so total eight records in the table one is new record and uh, one is updated okay this UK we changed into USA now we need to change the location not the name because we created a update condition on location so that's why okay anyway the both will change both will change because we are passing all the values into here again okay. so mapping run this mapping again so we'll get two records total here two records in the target one is in update one is in insert let's go in here update we can check the values this is USA USA and this is account US so like this every time we are maintaining the current information in type 1 SCD this is same like dynamic lookup in dynamic lookup also we are doing the same thing always we are loading current information in the target okay so then the next class on type 3 partial history thank you